Hi everybody, Jennifer here with The Sewing Report and this video was actually a suggestion from Brenda. She wanted to see what kind of tools and goodies I usually keep in the sewing room. So I brought together a few of them and I wanted to share them with you. So I will start off by showing you Elmer's washable school glue. This stuff is the stuff life is made of. When I was at a binding class a couple years ago, the teacher had recommended we use Elmer's washable school glue only because apparently it just has starch in it and you can temporarily bind your, use it to base your fabric and then it washes out. So we started using it in the class and it was seriously life changing for me. So she actually gave us this little squeezy bottle to kind of make for more precise application and I've been using it ever since. I use it on anything I can get away with, mostly woven fabrics. It doesn't really work on knits, but anything woven, I will glue baste it first. So that is an essential in my sewing room. The other thing I always keep handy is a lint roller. I have several lint rollers in the two different rooms I work out of. I always need one of those, whether it's on, whether during ironing or cutting, or when I'm basting a quilt and I notice a bunch of fuzzies on it, you always need several lint rollers. So I usually keep a few on hand. This one I think is by Scotch 3M and it's specifically for pet hair. I find it's really sticky and it also helps uh, because it's got like a ton of sheets on it so you don't run out of it too quickly. The next tool I find I've been using more and more is this Clover Hot Hammer. It uh, is made of like, I don't know, it's like a, like it kind of feels like felt or wool or something. But it's got markings on it so that you can hem fabrics up to it and press it against it. And it also doesn't, you know, doesn't get affected by the iron. So I use this a lot when I'm doing precise like quarter inch, uh, quarter inch folds or half inch or inch. So I find I use this quite often. I usually keep it by my ironing board. I've also recently picked up these bias tape makers. I got mine from Hobby Lobby and it's uh, their Somate brand. At least once or twice a month these are 50% off so I think I got these for about $2.50 each but I've got different sizes and they work great. I also love 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 my air and water soluble marker. I usually use the purple side and it's air soluble so it stays on for a while. I usually use it to mark lines for stitching or for cutting or when I'm quilting I use it for marking uh, straight lines and then it washes out or you know after a few days it just kind of disappears. So I haven't had any issues with it reappearing and I really like this purple side. The next thing in the list on the list is these really cute little snips. I got these off of Amazon. I originally had a pair that I got from a Gamel workshop, but I lost them. So I recently ordered a new pair and I love these snips. I keep them right by the sewing machine and I when I'm, you know, done with a with a thread I need to cut it. I usually use these or, and I also use these to cut close to the project because because the uh, blades are curved you can get very close to cutting something and it won't cut into the project so I think these were I want to say like in the five to eight dollar range but I find them to be quite handy I've also started using this leather tape I got this from uh, Wawak W-A-W-A-K I think it was about five dollars a roll and as you know, if you're working with leather or vinyl or anything like that, you can't use pins because it will mark holes in them. And also I find the, and the next item on my list is Wonder Clips. I don't usually use Wonder Clips with leather or vinyl because I find it, they, it doesn't stay very well. So I will use this uh, double-sided leather tape if I'm doing like handles or if I'm, you know, putting the seam together because it really stays, it's very sticky, and it also doesn't really gum up your needle. So, highly recommend this stuff if you work a lot with leather or vinyl. And of course, how can I forget Wonder Clips? I think I got these off of some sort of mass drop deal, and I think it was, I want to say they were $20 for 50. I have these in two different sizes. I also have a larger green size, but 
I find I use these smaller pink ones a lot more. See how cute they are? They have different lines on the backside markings. So you can mark like a quarter inch or you know a half inch. But uh, I use these all the time when I'm sewing because they're just so quick and easy. And also sometimes when I'm using pins, I find it kind of distorts the shape of the project. So I think the Wonder Clips are amazing. And I also use them when I'm machine binding, quilt binding. So I use that a lot. Maybe I'll do a video on that in the future. Leave me a comment and let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. I don't have a lot of time to quilt, so I love the look of hand binding, but I just don't really have time. So the last few quilts I've done, I've machine bound them completely, and I think they look decent enough. So if you're interested in that, leave me a comment, and uh, I will uh, think about doing that. And the last item on the list is not really sewing related, but I just find it uh, it's really handy in there. I always keep uh, Mario Badescu's special hand cream with vitamin E in the sewing room. I love this stuff. It's I think it's uh, I think this is six or eight dollars for a I don't know how much is in here. I think this is eight ounces. Which I think for a premium hand cream isn't that bad of a price and I usually order multiples off the website at one time and I can usually find some sort of discount code for free sh free shipping or like 10% off. So this stuff is like so whipped, it's like whipped cream and it just feels really good on your hands and I usually put a little bit on my knuckles and kind of rub my hands together because I have really dry cuticles so the cuticles are really the the part of my hand that I find most needs moisturizing but this stuff is great and I've had this tub for like ever and it, it lasts quite a long time so if you're looking for a good moisturizer this Mario Badescu stuff is definitely it well I hope you enjoyed looking at some of my uh, handy tools around the sewing room if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the Sewing Report channel so you can be notified about all the latest videos. I'm Jennifer Moore and I'll see you next time.